Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. It's your boy TJ Burns here and in today's video I'll be showing you every real piece of artwork in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I've recently just gone and visited my friend Adrian, also known as Brayden on YouTube and he's going to show me his complete artwork in the museum, which is pretty cool. So, for those of you who don't know, I upload daily videos on Animal Crossing tips and tricks, answering the questions you want the answers to. I also do a weekly giveaway, so make sure you do subscribe to my channel if you want to be involved in that. This week's one is a million bells, but let's get straight into the video. So first things first, in order to get the art gallery for the museum, you will need to have Crazy Red visit your island. You speak to him for the first time, you then go and speak to Blabbers, and this installation, well, upgrade will be installed after a day of your museum being upgraded. So you can buy art from Crazy Red, one piece a day, so that's paintings and sculptures. Only one a day, though. So my friend here, Adrian, has gone through every single one each day and fast forwarded and time traveled to get each one. So let's look through every single real art piece. So here we have the motherly statue, over here we've got the mystic statue, over here we have the informative statue, also known as the Rosetta Stone, the robust statue, also known as the Disco Bolus, the beautiful statue, also known as Venus de Milo, I've actually got a fake one of this and I cannot tell you why for the life of me, but very beautiful. We've got the Valiant statue, Nike of Samothras. We've got the Gallant statue, David, made by Michael Michelangelo. And then let's have a look at some of these paintings. Jolly painting, Summer. We've got a scenic painting, The Hunters in the Snow. The one and only famous painting, Mona Lisa. Another one from Leonardo, the Virtue Vian Man. The Lady with an Ermine, again from Leonardo da Vinci. You've probably seen this one before. The Birth of Venus, a very famous painting as well. We've got The Thinker, you probably know this from Night at the Museum. We've got Apples and Oranges. The Sunflowers by Vincent van Gogh. The Starry Night also by Vincent van Gogh. A Sunday Afternoon, a very nice big painting right there. We got the mysterious painting Isle of the Dead, very cool. A Bar of the Floisbergerie, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but. <laughs> Here we've got the Pfeiffer. Ophelia, the Gleaners, the Sower, you got the lovely folding screen of Fujin and Rajin, the left side. And also the Japanese artwork of the right half. We've got the ancient statue, Jomon Pirodogu figurine. Again, probably butchering the pronunciation, but I apologize, guys. We've got scary painting. Make note of the fingers because the fake ones point in a different way. 
Also got the dynamic painting, the 36 views of Mount Fuji. I like that one. That's a classic one as well. I've seen that before. Beauty looking back. Ajisai Sokezu. <laughs> I apologize for any people who speak like Japanese or anything because I apologize. This is t terrible. Homuwu doing. Homuwu doing. Homuwu ding. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like these ones. The warrior statues. The terracotta army. Very cool right there. We a massive head up here. Olmec colossal head. Very cool indeed. The fighting terrari. Oh my goodness, my pronunciation is terrible. Oh, this is a nice one. The liberty leading the people. Very cool. Like that one very much. We also have the clothed, clothed maja. The basic painting, the blue boy. Whoa, this statue is amazing. King Kamehameha. <laughs> amazing. That is literally just Dragon Ball Z right there. Or Dragon Ball in general. And up here we've got some more big boys. We have the Night Watch. Another famous painting over here you've probably recognised and seen is the girl with the pearl earring. The milkmaid. And Las Meninas. And that, my friends, is every single statue, sculpture and painting in the art gallery. Shout out to Adrian slash Braden, who has let me come to their island on Christmas Day because they've time traveled and seen this beautiful artwork with beautiful music. I really do appreciate it. It's actually beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Well, of course, guys, if you found this video useful and you want to see more Animal Crossing tips and tricks, why not subscribe to my channel and start your journey with me right now by clicking that little icon in the bottom right right there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.